This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. It's 6.53, time to get you ready to take on your Friday with the morning sprints. Mark has your weekend forecast just ahead. Sydney Charles has the latest details in the Kansas City Parade shooting. And Allison Martinez is live and set up for this week's Great Outdoors and Bike Expo with some special friends. Yeah, but we want to get right to some breaking news. Russian politician Alexei Navalny has died in prison. Navalny is a longtime Russian opposition politician and critic of Vladimir Putin. He was imprisoned in 2021, then sentenced to nine additional years in 2022, convicted of embezzlement and contempt of court. The prison service says Navalny fell ill after a walk and almost immediately lost consciousness. As we take a look at what you're going to see when you head out the door, well, plenty of sunshine, but you're also going to see very cold temperatures. We're sitting at 18 in Deer Park, Spokane Valley, 17 in Cheney. Oh, man, just, yeah, be dressed appropriately. Our highs today are going to be 36 for us, 35 into Colville and into Ritzville, 37. Our high today will be 36 degrees with sunshine. The Lake Roosevelt National Park Service is looking for a man from the Freeman community. The missing man is Eric Lee Jensen. He's 51 years old, about six foot two and around 210 pounds. At the time of his disappearance, Jensen was probably wearing camel pants and fishing gear. He was last seen at the Bradbury boat launch off of Highway 25 near Kettle Falls on January 9th. If you have any information about where he may be, you're asked to contact the Roosevelt National Recreation Area or just call 911. A house fire killed two women in a fray Wednesday night. The women were both in their 70s and were not able to escape the quick moving fire that destroyed their mobile home. The cause hasn't been pinpointed yet, but the investigation is focused on space heaters and smoke detectors. New developments on what led up to a shooting at a rally for the Kansas City Chiefs. This morning, authorities say the deadly shooting at the end of the victory parade on Wednesday started as a personal dispute that exploded into violence. We also know that two teenagers are in custody. Police determined that a third person who had been detained in connection to the shooting was not involved. One person died and more than 20 others were hurt. At least half of them were children under the age of 16. The latest in the ongoing investigation is coming up next on Good Morning America. Well, for the first time in a long time, it was all smiles in Malden. Nearly four years after the devastating wildfire destroyed homes and buildings in the small Whitman County town. The first public building has now been rebuilt. We'll take a look at this at Malden's brand new municipal building. This will be home to the town's fire station, post office and town hall, all of which were lost in the 2020 fire. Mayor Dan Harwood got emotional when asked what the building means to him. He says it's a symbol of how far the town has come, but says Malden still has miles to go in the rebuilding process. In special elections across Washington Tuesday, voters rejected bond measures that would build and renovate public schools. That includes every bond measure in Spokane County, like the $200 million bond proposed by Spokane Public Schools. As districts decide what to do next, we want to hear from you. If you voted against a bond measure for your district, why? And what was different this time compared to proposed bond measures in the past? Tell us what you think on KXOY.com. You can find the story on our homepage. This morning, I've been hanging out with Reggie the Snake, and you can hang out with him yourself coming up at the Spokane Great Outdoors Expo. It's happening tomorrow and Sunday. Tickets are available on our website. We'll have all the information there, and tickets are free for kids 12 and under. There's plenty of live shows, activities for kids, and opportunities to learn some outdoor skills. We'll say goodbye to one of the seven Starbucks in Spokane Valley. The location on East Sprague near Costco is permanently closed. A spokesperson says the company continually evaluates and the business to ensure a healthy store portfolio, but didn't say anything else about the store closing. Idaho Fish and Game says there's a nationwide decline in some moose populations. A woman in Post Falls wants to create a moose sanctuary to keep them safe. Kathy Vetta is no stranger to moose visiting her yard. One baby moose, who she's named Owen, inspired her sanctuary idea. She says with the growth of new development in the area, she feels like the moose are being pushed out. She recently purchased 10 acres in Harrison, hopes to make it a moose sanctuary, which she will call Owen's Acres. You can read more about her plans on KXLY.com. And there are some dangers to moose that you can help eliminate, like this yew plant. This is a photo of it right here. There is our toxic, not only to moose, but animals in general. Fishing Game encourages you not to purchase the plant. Weather next.